Canadian Joe Camiso always wondered what it would be like to own a piece of paradise. I've wanted to buy in Florida for the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. I'm 73 years old and I guess it's uh, it's time I did. He couldn't have picked a better time. A realtor suggested he look at Stewart's Fairway Palms, apartments that converted to condos four years ago. Back then, the units were selling for about $169,000. Joe managed to buy one for rock bottom, $26,500, sight unseen. Unseen. We just took a shot at it for, for $26,500, like... Uh, I don't know, you can't even buy a car for that. Joe's good fortune shows just how far the condo conversion craze has fallen. Melissa Holzman of Scripps Treasure Coast Newspapers spent the last four months researching the story. We found in 2005, 14 complexes that used to be apartments were flipped to condominiums with the idea, of course, of uh, flipping them pretty quick at the height of the housing market. She says at the time, most of the buyers were out-of-town investors, many from Miami, buying property in bulk with easy access to credit, paying no money down. One investor told her, quote, I think I was just overcome with greed, trying to flip a property and make a quick $20,000. You know, once the first wave of owners came in and purchased these places, the values just started dropping. They took what uh, is commonly referred to as a death dive with the crash of the market. Owners stopped paying maintenance fees. Many walked away from mortgages. At Jensen Beach's Portofino, once the biggest real estate deal in Martin County's history, nearly a third of the units are now in foreclosure. Walls were all kind of... Uh, uh, writing on them and they were dirty. Joe says his like place was trashed when he first found decided. it, but he invested the time and money to clean it up. And unlike the investors who bailed out when they couldn't make a quick buck, Joe says he's looking long term. And however long I last, I'll enjoy it.